Hey guys, I'm going to show you the commission tracking add-on that's available on the pro plan. And the first step would be to open your settings and then all add-ons. Once you're on this page, you can toggle on the commission tracking feature. Okay, and so with this, you can save more time automated, automating commission tracking and reporting. GorillaDesk will provide you with a report for all commission due to your employees. Okay, so we have that enabled. From here, you can easily assign commission for each of your Gorilla Desk users at the invoice line item level. All right, so this is where we would do our initial setup. Just so you guys know, you can also access this page from your calendar or really anywhere else in your account. In the upper left, you'll see this panel. Okay, you see these three lines, and if you open that, You'll see a couple options, and at the very bottom, we'll see our commissions. So before we can run the report, we'll actually have to set up our commissions first. So we'll click on Setup. Now, what this is doing is giving you a list of all of the line items in your account. So if you went to Settings and then Items, you should basically see the same list of items that you're seeing right here. Okay, so for each of these items, you can assign either a percentage or a dollar value. And that's going to be specific to each user. So you can you know, enable that user, so you'll be able to assign them if you'd like. And then to actually assign them, you'll just click. And let's say, for example, for bi-monthly service, we want Blake, the technician, to get 15% of that line item. Okay, so you can build this out you can assign either dollar amounts or percentage to each line item. And you'd actually do this for any user that you'd like uh, to pay based off commissions. If you were to set up one of the users and you wanted to transfer those same values to another one, you can simply click down here. So let's say we set up Blake's commission rates and Jane is actually going to be the same. So we can actually click on Jane, right? And we're going to assign or apply settings from another user. So in this case, it'll be from Blake. And then we can apply. Okay, so once you've set your values, then you can actually run your report. So if we open up data right here, you'll see that this report will show a history of all commission data calculated based on the invoice line items. So the first thing you would do is set your date range, and it's going to give you a list of any invoices that are dated within this range. You can run just a standard report. You can exclude tax. You can exclude discounts, or you can exclude both. You can run a report for a specific staff member or for all of your staff. You can filter by invoice status. So in this case, maybe we just want to see paid. And then you can filter by method. Okay, and the way that it's going to calculate this is, uh, so these invoices are going to be assigned to a job, and whoever is assigned to that job, so whichever technician usually, uh, or user, whoever is assigned to that job, will be the one that will get their percentage for that line item. So you can see here that we have invoice 502 that's attached to a bi-monthly service, and the invoice is paid. So Blake is getting $15 commission on that. Okay, same thing for this. If it is a standalone invoice that's not attached to a job, there will not be any commission available for that. Okay, so this is only going to be for invoices that are assigned to jobs on the calendar. Okay, so you can see here it's given me a breakdown. All of these invoices are dated, you know, within this range, so basically for February, and then it will give me a total commission value at the bottom. So this is what their uh, their total is. Um, you can also export to a CSV or Excel file, and you can print this report if you'd like. Okay, so this is the commission tracking feature. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach us at 855-536-7470, or you can open a live chat, and we'll be more than happy to help. So thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.